Hello all Dan Safarians, today let's sort off of our sea animals collection, okay? So the first figure right here is actually a tiger shark. Okay, let's put all the sharks um, into this box right over here. Um, next one is actually a basking shark figure. It okay, looks really nice. Do you guys know that basking sharks, they are actually like filter feeders? This one is a Ken Strictly Sea Turtle Baby. Okay. Next, we have a leopard seal right over here. And this one is actually a blue shark figure. Alright. And this is a clown anemone fish. And this is a seahorse, a beautiful seahorse figure. And this is a frogfish. Frogfish, they are actually known for the ability to walk, walk on the ocean seafloor because they have like these two flippers right here that you know they can sort of like move them around. Okay. Next, a sea turtle right over here. Beautiful one. It's actually a loggerhead sea turtle. And this one is actually a marble ray. As you guys can see, the patterns on his body looks like the patterns of a marble stone. And this is a salmon fish. Beautiful salmon fish. Water's figure. Yep, you guys know that these two tasks, they are actually pretty functional. They can actually like anchor down into the ocean sea floor while the waters dig for food. Yeah, so that is actually the um, function of the task and here we have a manatee okay they are also known as sea cars if I'm not wrong manatee is right over here they do look very similar to um, the dugong this is a narwhal or it actually has an overgrown tooth okay this is not like a spear it's an overgrown tooth um let's see what else we've got um this it's a mink whale that's right, a pink wheel. And uh, a beluga wheel right over here. Beautiful one. And this it's a pilot. Oh, this is actually an orca. I beg the pardon. So orcas are actually the um, apex predators. Yep, apex predators of the sea. They can actually take down a wheel. Yep. And this is a leatherback sea turtle. Beautiful figure. Another sea turtle. This is a sea turtle baby. This is actually an extinct fish known as a silo kent that is actually extinct. A whale shark right over here. Whale sharks are filter feeders. They basically take in all the water and filter out all the food particles. This is known as a bowhead whale. I think we have two of our you know, bowhead whale figures. A starfish. Okay. This is a moray eel. If you guys do not know, they actually love to live in small little cracks and um, holes in the ocean sea floor. Humpback whale, you can easily recognize this by the little bumps on its body. This is a sea lion, California sea lion, if I'm not wrong. That's right. Koi fish. Koi fish are pretty pretty interesting. They can actually live up to like 100 to even 200 years old. And this one is um, actually a grey whale. Beautiful grey whale. Pilot whale. Okay. We have a um, polar bear carp, a polar bear baby. Looks really beautiful. This one as well. Polar bear carp. This is known as a white whale, it's not a beluga whale. And um, this is a whale shark. Yet another manatee figure, yeah, um, I have plenty of manatee figures and this is like, I think we have two of them. Sawfish, which is, um, I think it is a shark, if I'm not wrong. This is definitely a shark, scallop hammerhead shark, so you can see. Hammerhead actually has some curves and bumps on its own, you know, the hammerhead, which is very different from normal hammerhead. And this is known as a pointer shark, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Goblin shark, one of the more hideous looking sharks. They are pretty rare to find, I guess. 
This is a Wii C Dragon, I've actually seen them before. They look very, very cool, very colorful looking. And um, we have another ball head wheel, so as I've mentioned, um, I have two ball head wheel figures. Both are really, really awesome looking. Okay, moving on, we have an oceanic white tip reef shock right here. Okay, and um, this is a hammerhead shock baby. Another hammerhead shock right here. Hermit crab, guys, this is a hermit crab. Okay, an octopus. Do you guys know that octopus, they are actually very, very intelligent animals, they can camouflage themselves by changing the colors and also the texture of his body. They can even change the shape as well. This is a blue shock, uh, a blue crab, I think about it, a blue crab. Okay, moving on. We have um, another Orca right here, the Apex Predator. They are also known as uh, killer whales. Large mouth bass. Okay. And this is a pilot wheel. A lemon shot. Hammerhead shot, baby, I think. And another octopus. Octopus, they are extremely intelligent. They can actually camouflage themselves, they can change their body colors, can even change the shape to make themselves look like a rock, for example. Lobster. They are actually very different from Spiny Lobster, which um, I have one right here. Let me just show you guys the um, Spiny Lobster figure. Once again. So this is actually a Spiny Lobster, you can see it doesn't have um, two pencils. That's compared to the um, lobster right here, okay? So this is a lobster, two huge claws. Another walrus figure. This should be a leopard seal if I'm not wrong. Yeah. A crab, a brown crab, and an octopus. This it's a ray, but I'm not not exactly sure what you know species it is. This is a Baquita purpoise. They are critically endangered. Less than 10 left in the world. And this is a black tip reef shock. Okay, a black tip reef shock. This is a sand tiger shock. Yeah, that's right. We have a squid right here. It looks really beautiful. A shock ray. Blue tank. Blue tank are actually very interesting sea animals because they can actually change their body colors, they can change the intensity of the blue color. Some will be light blue, some will be dark blue. So very very interesting. This is a zebra shark. I'm not too sure whether this is the correct figure because um you know I thought zebra sharks are supposed to have stripes, but this one only has spots. This is a bonnet bonnet head shark, as you guys can see. The hammerhead looking um, structure is actually very small as compared to the um, actual hammerhead shock. A great white shock, beautiful figure. This is a catfish, you guys can see it has like whiskers, and the whiskers actually help it to find its way in the very, very murky water. Okay, we have another crab right over here, and this crab is actually known as a Sally Lightfoot crab. I think it has got to be the most colorful crab I've ever seen. We have a blue whale right here. Another great white shark figure. This is a flying fish. As you guys know, this fish they do not actually fly. They actually glide through the surface of the water. We have a jellyfish right here. I'm thinking maybe we should put the crabs over here, otherwise it might be too full. I'll put all the crabs over there. And the lobsters. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. The jellyfish. Um, yeah, and here we have a horse shoe crab, which is an extinct, not as thing, I, I beg your pardon. They are still found nowadays and they dated back all the way in like 
you know, a few million years ago, so you can actually find them right now, as well as uh, back in the prehistoric times, which is very, very interesting. Okay, and here we have an anglerfish. Okay, anglerfish. This is a bottlenose dolphin. Okay, beautiful one. Another hammerhead shark. A great white shark. Great white sharks, they have a really, really good sense of smell. They can actually smell like a, um, some blood from miles away, so they have very, very good sense of smell. This is a grey reef shark. Beautiful. More lobsters. Another lobster right here. This one is a really beautiful lobster figure. Okay. Basking shark. Another future feeder. Another great white shark. So great white sharks, they are actually not known to attack human beings. Okay. Only very very few attacks were recorded. And this is a manta ray. Okay? Another ray, which is a sting ray, you can see there's a sting right behind, right over here. Okay? A jellyfish. And another crab, and this is actually known as a king crab. It has plenty of horns on its body. A squid. I definitely need to move some. Um, yeah, some sea animals over here because it seems like this box is way, way, way too uh, crowded. So let me move all the crabs, all the squids, all the octopus over here. And perhaps we can put the polar bears right over here. Set for the crabs. Sorry about that. Let me just do some cleaning up. Okay, polar bear cop. We have um, an emperor penguin. So emperor penguin, I think it will stay over here. All the penguins will stay over here. This is a chin strap penguin. You can see there's a, um, a strap under the chin. This is a penguin. No idea what exactly is the breed of this. Pros possibly an emperor penguin. Not too sure. A polar bear cop once again. This one looks like a humboldt penguin. Emperor penguin. Emperor penguins are actually the largest species of penguins around. And this is a South African penguin. A mega mouth shark. And um, this is a great white shark. A megalodon. And this is known as a Mako shark. A blue whale. And this is a tiger shark. You can see the stripes on the body. It actually resembles the stripes of a tiger. Another great white shark. This figure looks really beautiful. A sperm whale. You can easily recognize this by the shape of the head, which is very squarish looking. Clownfish and a sea lion. Nice. I'm gonna put the sea lions over here just in case. Warriors, maybe I should probably put them here as well. Warriors. Another warriors figure, so let me just try to put some warriors over. Otherwise, this box might be a bit too crowded. So let me just get all the warriors. I think we should have one more walrus inside. I think we can find it later on. Another shark right here. Basking shark. This is an ammonite. Okay, it's actually a prehistoric sea animal. A leopard seal. Okay. A, another manta ray. Clownfish. This is known as a rock hopper penguin. 
another sea lion. Sea lions are very very intelligent animals. And this is actually known as a hawk seal. You can actually easily recognize this by the patterns on his body. Hammerhead shark. A um, sailfish. Two moray newts right here. This is actually known as a pygmy sperm whale. They are actually quite small, the size of a dolphin, not as big as you know all the whales that you know. Megamorph shark, really rare shark that you can only find like really deep in the ocean. This is a um, Goliath grouper. Yep, that's right. Another turtle, sea turtle. Another ray. This is a cow nose ray. Great white shark figure. Blue spotted ray. You can easily recognize this by the blue spots on his body. Nanwil with an overgrown tooth. I think we have like two of three Nanwil figures. Thrasher shark with a long tail. Easily recognize this, and um, this is a zebra shark. Yep, yes, plenty of stripes. Box fish, a very very interesting looking fish. The body actually resembles the shape of a box. Blaine views big wheel. Okay. This is a bull shark. Bull sharks are actually much more aggressive than uh, great whites. They are more tamed to attack humans as compared to the great whites. Another sawfish. We have a blue squid right over here. This is a say whale. Okay, another huge whale. Now whale. That's an overgrown tooth, like what I've mentioned just now. Beauty branch. It's a very interesting looking sea animal because it looks like a um, it looks like a snail to me. Another shark ray. A leopard shark. Strike. This is a African penguin. Okay. This is either an emperor penguin or a king penguin because this figure doesn't really look very very accurate but I would say that this is most likely an emperor penguin. A penguin baby, very adorable. A small tiger shark. Fruit shark guys, fruit shark. And will. Oh no, it's the back of the This is actually a Ganges River dolphin. It looks like a man to me. Sometimes. Shark fin Mako shark. Nurse shark can actually easily recognize this by the two fang like structures in front of the mouth. Atlantic white sided dolphin. Okay, the only dolphin with a very unique yellow stripe across the body. Ichthyosaurus is not exactly, you know, supposed to be in this video. This is actually a prehistoric sea animal. We have a sea turtle. This is probably a bull shark. I'm not exactly sure. A robber gang. It is a type of carpet shark. This is probably a nurse shark. Probably. Because this figure isn't that accurate. A beluga. White tip reef shark. And another bottlenose dolphin. Really intelligent sea animals. This is actually the calf of a beluga whale. Another robber gang. Okay. What is the meerkat doing here? It's not supposed to be in this video. Okay, I'm gonna put this meerkat aside first. Um, what do we have right here? A bottlenose dolphin. And this one should also be a bottlenose dolphin. A mini orca. 
yet another bottle nose dolphin. We have plenty of them. This is a bamboo shark. Yeah, you can actually recognize this by the two fang like structure, which is very similar to the um, nurse shark. But it also has some stripes that resembles um, you know, the patterns on a bamboo plant. This, I think, is a ghost shark. This is probably a zebra shark, I think. Most likely a zebra shark. This, it could be a blue shark. A beluga whale. Okay. A mini hammerhead. Not exactly sure what is the name of this. Do you guys know? Is this like an elephant fish? Or butterfly fish? I can't remember. And uh, we have a Pacific white southern dolphin. Very nice one. This is probably a carpet shark. We have a dugong. Another border nose dolphin. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five mini sharks right here. I think. We have green white, we have a um, moose shark, we have a um, thresher shark probably. Okay. And our last figure is actually this sea animal, which I have no idea what this is. If you guys know what creature this is, let me know down below, okay? Thanks for watching this, and um, yeah, I'm done. So I basically showed you guys my collection of um, sea animal figurines. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, okay? Oops. Yep. Thanks for watching this, and um, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video, goodbye.